Welcome back to the D&D campaign. In the last episode, the party investigated some ghosts that had invaded the mansion. They found out there were three ghosts, and they took out one of them. It possessed a Zephyr, and they saved him by throwing him out of a window. They managed to defeat it with a fire spell and uncover that this ghost used to be that of a noble who was executed for insulting someone after partying too hard. The question now remains, what will they do with this information, and how will they handle the other two ghosts that exist here? They also found a small device that appears to maybe be able to detect the presence of ghosts. And we now return to our party, still in that room that they were in earlier, uh, the, uh, the the piano room. Piano room. I feel kind of well, evil now. Wait. I feel like maybe we should have asked them. Yeah, I also why agree. they were possessed. Because what if like? Because now if we ask the other well, guys have... like why they became ghosts, they're gonna be pissed off because we killed their friends still. Yeah, that's a butt in. But, but would uh, they know? Dice, the dice of the day. Sorry. These sick metal dice that I got for Ooh. Christmas. Ooh. Dice of the day. Ah, I gotta do right. before Daniel. I gotta do before Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do now? You have the ghost. I say we go down to the no, ballroom. Ball yeah. Okay, I thought you were about to say downstairs. Yeah, yeah you have to go to the ballroom. Yeah, ballroom. Motherfucker doesn't trust my ass. Can we dance Fuck, no. in the ballroom? <laughs> Yeah, can Not we together dance? though. Can that's we gay. just like instead of like trying to be sneaky, let's just fucking dance into the ballroom. Yeah, can we dance into, into the ballroom? What dance move are you gonna do, Brady? Just whatever, like is terrible. Just like a. You should do every prom dance. You just jump up with one arm. Brady, I'll do the yeah. I'll do the the Brady the the vocals in Fortnite Festival the where they just stand there and just move yeah, their funny. arms a little bit. <sighs> it's so funny. <laughs> Give me a uh, performance chan check. Oh, from, uh, oh. oh uh, fuck you, like... duck, duck. I'm going to be breaking it down. I'm going to be... Oh, I six. went nuts. I went nuts, Daniel. I like, fell on my face, bro. I got I a four, bad. bro. I was busting a move, Daniel. I got an 18. I was so... busting a move. <laughs> Vogler and, um, and Wainstrom, your dance moves are positively wretched. Oh, and Bra yes, Brayden, uh, Zephyr is just hitting it. Absolutely just hitting crazy. the most insane dance moves you've ever <laughs> seen. Hitting it with the... Yeah, I'm going crazy with the... That's good. <clears throat> yeah. And you, you boogie your way into this dark, big, you... gothic ball. Room. Time to tango, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Balls? Time to... Somebody has a rose in their mouth, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I feel like that would be me because I had a I had a eighteen. I feel like yeah, I, you have a yeah, I like spawn a, I like spawn a rose out of my pocket and start like tangoing. That's so, oh, that's That's so good. So this is a this this is this grand ballroom with big windows. It's the middle of the night, and there is one great big fireplace in the center of the room, and various rows of uh, tables and you know big dancing space, and you're just boogieing it into the room. <laughs> And you, you hear a sound from the device. Oh, oh, my device. Oh yeah, Go. boys. There's definitely something in here. It's got to be the. Who goes there? You see, the device has jumped up to a five. Oh, oh shit! They're getting closer. Who goes there? Hello. Rises to a six, and then a seven, and then an eight, and then a nine, and you see nope. the okay. fireplace that was put out erupt in a bright, powerful fire, raging, and the and the machine jumps to a ten, and you see a warning light blink on it with the written words underneath it, wraith, wraith, and you see fire fly out of the uh of the um fucking out of the the, the the not the furnace but like the, the the fireplace in a jet that almost hits you all and you hear yes. from all around a chanting voice saying i trust this place with final breath the souls taken will rise from death 
till justice is brought to this place. None who stay here shall ever be safe. And out of the fire, uh, you see bones appear, uh, and a ghostly form appear around it. Or finally, the beard made of red-hot burning fire appears out. Uh, he's also bald. It's the bald guy from earlier. The fire. Bartholomew. Beard. Hey, that's a pretty cool poem, Bartholomew. man. Bartholomew. Bartholomew, my brother. How's everything going? <laughs> <laughs> Who dares disturb me? You. Let's do it, not me. You. I know you must have defeated Gideon to be here. Before you get mad. Bro. <laughs> how did you become a ghost? I... I am the... I... I will get my revenge. You see, when I was alive, I was a soldier. A good soldier. For this... For this kingdom. I went to the Talons and I saw problems. But when I brought them back to the king... He didn't know what to do. He wouldn't give any solution. He'd just brush it off and give me ale. So I went and I told everyone that this kingdom was falling apart. And I pushed for the fix it. And Sylvie and me burned at the stake for questioning her. Wait, who burned and now, Sil uh, Sylvia, all right. Now I will destroy everyone who sets foot in this castle until I get justice. But he did the same thing to us. We don't like him that much either, man. Yeah, we don't like the king. King is a fool. Sylvia is say that again. Sylvia. She's the one who had me killed. Hmm. We, we could strike well, a, there we, goes we, your chances, we Brady. Could, we could strike a deal here with you, maybe. Yeah. Would you be you open? You wish to prove yourself worthy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Perhaps you would make a useful vessel. No. Well, Destroy uh, Sylvia. Uh, and uh, I will we have my justice. Yeah, but she promised us magic items. Yeah, we start attacking. <laughs> I don't know. Is, what do we do? Is there I think any we could, way we could try that... to strike a deal with him, where maybe, like, maybe, maybe the ghosts will know where the magic items are. Maybe they we fake their deaths, even though they're already Daniel dead. definitely did this shit to make Sylvia be bad, so that way I didn't try and fuck Sylvia. <laughs> I know he did that. He for sure did. He said probably. He for sure did. All right. Um. So we could potentially. <clears throat> Sorry. Either yeah, we could. What do we want to do? What do we want to? I do have no that? idea. I don't. I say. We try to see if the ghosts know where the magic goes. Yeah. Don't, we also don't like the king. Yeah. And I kind of feel bad that we killed the other ghost now because he was the jovial one. Also, because yeah. Also, because this guy, like the other two ghosts, they might be they might be able to allow us to pass freely through the castle, and then we can just go to the vault where the magic items are without any problem. Yeah. And they can like help us. What if we just lied to her and said that we took care of them? That's what I was saying. Like, what How if I just said know? they were dead? Yeah. I don't know, are we able to just like converse with this guy, or is he just gonna get like mad? Say what? You cut out. What did you say? You cut out. out. What do you, What do you say to my offer? Well, oh. I mean, you don't really, you didn't really offer us anything. Oh shit! It hurts my throat like. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, he didn't offer anything. He just said, I want justice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then didn't get give us my... anything in return. He just said, kill Sylvia. If you help me get my justice, I... I can get you wherever, whatever you want. 
Oh. Oh. What did Sylvia That's... promise you to destroy me? Th- three magic items. Three magic items that are in a vault somewhere. And she kind of hot. The castle's vault. Brady. Powerful magic keeps me from entering that vault. Magic cast by Sylvia. I have so if we kill her, sir, I believe that she may have more power than we realize. If we kill Sylvia, does her magic go away? Does this spell go away? Uh, if a if a caster dies, I think they're usually their enchantments. Wait, oh wait, no. Um, it depends. Yeah, but the thing is, if we kill. If we kill them, like if we kill the ghosts, like the town will like us. But if we kill Sylvia, we're probably going to get like, tracked down and get hated on by everybody because nobody knows the real truth. Sir, Sir Ghost Bartholomew, what would happen? What happens once you get your revenge? Be able to rest. My spirit will be at peace. So, so Brady, if we complain, if we if we kill Sylvia, then the ghosts also go. Then we also can get into the vault and get ourselves magic items. But we also killed Sylvia, and we're probably gonna get hated on. Does it really? That's the the question. Is do we care? Yeah, but what if the whole I, entire Alertos region ends up not liking us now? All we need is Bob Fishman. <laughs> He's the only the one. We care that's about. how that works. He's the only one we care about. He's the real G. All right. Um. I have an idea. This is a fucking hard decision. I have an idea, ghost, or ghost. What if we bring Sylvia tomorrow night to here under the impression that we're going to help her take out the ghosts, but then we turn on her and help you kill Sylvia? I find this deal acceptable. I hope you are of your word. Because then... Cause then then we can say Sylvia died in the fu- in the fight to eliminate the ghosts. That's true. And then we vanquish the well, ghosts. How are we going to get her to come with us? Because she said, well, I employed you to do this. Yeah, little bitch. Well, we got to figure that out. But I feel like this could be the best play. That is probably the best play, I feel like. Ooh, wait, hold on. Four. <laughs> Hold on. Charm? Can you char- or not charm person or whatever? The duration is one hour. So if I do it right at the end, if I use charm person on her right at the end, we could kill her before it wears off, or get her there and then kill her as it wears off. Yeah. Okay. I like that idea. I like this plan. All right, Bartholomew. But we're gonna have to convince her that something happened, or that we like we were only able, we only had time to get the one. Yeah. Disgusting. I like that right. idea. Like Let's do that. Then it is a deal, and he vanishes into flame. I feel bad that we killed Gideon, but I know we killed a happy one. We That's killed him so for no reason. That is, he was just happy at all times, yeah. and we killed him. He did try and kill you. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We were trying to kill him. No, he tried to kill me, though, immediately, when I just, the first time, when I just walked into the room, he tried to kill me. Oh, yeah, because didn't you go down to the, you went I went right? into that room, and he just tried to kill me immediately mm-hmm. when I was in there, the first time around. All right. Let's get Sylvia to come along. Go get her ass. And then uh, murder are you her. Now or? The murder, yeah. Um should we leave now and wait to get her help? Let's leave now and get her. Yeah. Oh, are we bring her back tonight or are we bring her back tomorrow? Do we do it tonight or tomorrow? I thought tomorrow. Where would we sleep? 
Yeah, it's true. I feel like she would just go tonight. Time. Maybe we don't know where she goes. Where she went though. Let's um. Scavenger hunt. Follow me. Do you know where Sylvia goes to sleep at night? I do not believe the bounds of this castle, but in life, I remember she has a villa not far from here, just up the road. But be okay. warned, there are many So maybe we should wait for tomorrow. But where would we stay? Yeah, we have nowhere to sleep. I guess. Can we ask him to to um sleep the night? Sleep in the ballroom and him wake us up before before day. Yeah, I like that. Can you ask him if we can stay here? Yeah, because yeah. we need somewhere to sleep, but we also need to get up and basically act as if we had just killed the other guy as she comes in in the morning. I can yeah. permit you stay. But I cannot promise the other will be placid. I have only limited control over them. Especially Victoria. Okay, maybe I rest to get my spells back and you guys stay guard. Uh, keep an eye on sure. Yeah. Okay. Can we do that? Is this a long or a short rest? <laughs> It'll be a long rest. Boop. Okay, just for me though. Mm -hmm. uh, are it's the two of you staying up? Yes. Yes. Are you taking turns? Because uh, if you both take uh, turns, you'll all be able to long rest. Um. Do we need? I don't really do need to long rest. Neither but... do I. Yeah, the, the only reason I had to is because the spells. They have no reason to. Uh, remember, if you if you stay up one more night and don't rest, you will begin to take a point of exhaustion. Which maybe we should. You won't take we'll one. We'll take right? turns. We'll take turns. We'll take turns to rest. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll need both of you to roll perception. Uh oh. See if. Uh... Perception, perception. Perception check. Roll high oh high my high god, high. I thought that was a one, bro. Twelve. Seven. I thought that was a one at first, though. Okay. Um. You pass the night. Thank okay. God. It is the morning. And you see. You hear the step of guards outside. And the castle opens. And you see the big king. Oh, 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 my castle. Wander in. Uh, escorted by guards. Along with Sylvia at his side. As she walks in. And she sees you too. And the king goes. Oh, party guests have already arrived! Oh, 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 oh. What day is it again? What's the theme? And Sylvia looks at him and says, I believe the theme is red. I believe it's a red theme today, Samir. Why don't you sit down and have something to drink? Just Perfect. I should sit down and have something to drink. And he walks off uh, towards the party room. Wait, I have a question. And Sylvia walks over here. I have mm -hmm. a, dis a discussion point for us. What if Sylvia didn't want to kill him, but she was forced to? Because hmm. she also seems pretty tired of the king. I think we kill Sylvia. But what if we just blundered again? I don't bluff, not blunder. Well, no, because we no, because we would we would have fought, we fucked up. We didn't have to kill the the first uh. ghost. And then what if oh, we kill yeah. her, and then we're like, well, shit, she actually wasn't the bad one. Both of them just hate each other, when really they should hate the king. Maybe we bring her there, and instead of killing her immediately, we have a discussion. Yeah, alright, <laughs> fine. Yeah. We try we'll to figure, it's we, a fucking we, therapy. We figure, out, we figure out who needs to die, and if not, maybe we all team up on the king. Or we all, we all like, do some shit. I don't know. All right. I'm trying Olivia's to cook dead, here. Though. I'm trying to cook here. Well, We're yeah, kill probably. Olivia, hopefully. Probably. Hopefully. I see, uh, Shut the fuck up, Brendan. Sylvia walking up towards the here. Sylvia. W3. I take it by the fact that none of you are dead. You were successful last evening? No. <laughs> Wait, no. Stop. Don't say no. 
Don't say no. Is this full? We were, in a sense, we ran into some issues. We got the one in the uh, room with the piano. But it took too long to where we didn't have time to go up for the others. We were hoping maybe you could help us tonight to finish the work. This is what I get for not hiring the best help. Okay, motherfucker. Or killing her. Yeah, I agree. Hey, I mean, your king only gave us ale, so... I'll give you tonight to finish your job. And if you fail, I will hire someone else. And maybe they can do what you could not. But you're Hold the fuck up. But you're coming, you're coming with, with us, with right? us You're though. coming with us, though, right? What need do I have to be there? Are you trying to... Persuade. Trying to persuade her Brady. to come. Brady, persuade, persuade her, because we know you have the highest persuade. Me? Yeah. Okay. Or we could all do it. No. I guess. Also, I, I do need to know, what, what, what are you saying to persuade her? Okay, I got a 22, but I am saying... Um, that we, maybe her coming along would help speed up the process, as we've never fought ghosts before, and we were un we were un unsure what to do. Got a twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, I suppose the old adage is true: if you want anything done right, you have to do it yourself. Very well, Good I work. will join, and I will personally see to it that this is finished. Oh, we will. We uh, will finish things. The job shall now, be done. We have right. a party to prepare for. To prepare for. Please get out of here and do whatever it is you do. Sip. Drink. Can we just? Can we explore fast? like Greater Alertos? It's oh. Greater Alertos, right? Why don't we explore Greater Alertos? I guess, I guess. We, we literally just came to Greater here. Alertos and went straight to the king. So. Yeah, and why the fuck would we want to do that? You can see okay. the, the king is already drinking. He already seems like he just doesn't know what he's doing. Like he's just I say we go, yeah, I agree with Brady, actually. I say we go explore. Where do you go for today? There's a whole city. Restaurants, uh, libraries, temples for the... Uh, the the Order of the Golden Dragon. There's um, there's a public park. I want to go to the park. Not a, remember you got attacked by the duck or something, <laughs> right? Oh yeah. Wait, what did you say about the Order of the Gold Dragon? There are temples for your order, like some big ones here. Is there a those. place that we can buy some magic stuff at? Uh, yep. There's an enchanter. Can we visit the Enchanter? <clears throat> Brady, you're making me super hungry. I hope you know that. I'll go to Brayden with the. I'll go to the Enchanter with Brayden, and then I'm gonna go to one of the libraries, not the libraries, temples. Um, uh, Bray, uh, Chris, you're going to a park. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So you're splitting up. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll start with. Uh, where do you want to? What do you want to start with? I don't care. Do Chris at the park. All right, let's start with the park adventure. Oh yeah! You head over to the park. It's pretty nice. Um, there's some kids running around. Uh, there's a, there's like ducks in the pond. There's a dude. Okay. Who, there's like a there's like an old man in a big coat who's feeding the ducks. He's wearing a, like a big slouch hat. Uh, I go uh, talk to the old dude. The talk to the old dude. Uh, hello there, you young whippersnapper. Hi. What brings you here? I'm just going on a little stroll, exploring the town or city, I guess. <laughs> what brings you, you know, here, feeding the ducks? This town can get a little boring. I have something that might make it more exciting. Oh, what's that? Reaches into his big coat. He pulls out a, a small bag of purple dust. He says, Ten gold? And he, he like, holds it for him and he puts it away. Ten gold? I assure you it's pure. No adulterants. 
Dish, you can buy. I'm gonna buy meth off this dude. Chris hey, is buying drugs in the park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you don't have to buy drugs in the park. Oh, uh, well, can I ask him what it is? Or can I... With the drugs. And we're back. So, you were in the park, uh, and you were yeah. talking to the old guy, and he had just showed you the bag of purple powder and put it back in his coat. And you were going to do an intelligence check to see what it is? Yes. Just let me blow my nose in peace real quick. All right, intelligence. Oh, check. blow your nose. Intelligence. Intelligence. Why can I not read intel... Intel... Huh? Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. 18. Oh, you've heard of this stuff before. You know what this is. A purple powder. You know that this is a, um, it's a, it's a powerful hallucinogen. A lot of people call it a uh, dragon scale. Whoa. And it causes crazy hallucinations for a long while. Actually, I could use that in an advantage. I won't even have to take it. I could use it well, for like a weapon almost. Ten gold and it's yours. <laughs> sure. Ten gold. I should do a business with you. And he hands you the bag discreetly. He holds out his hand. Give him ten gold. Yes. Here you go, sir. Puts it in his coat. He says, pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> so what is this called? A uh, dragon scale. You dragon bought the fucking drugs? No, it could help us, bro. No. Yeah, it can. I'm not gonna fucking take it. Just uh, is there anything else it, I think I'm gonna support? force you to fucking take it. No way! I'm gonna Wait, what does it do? What it do they hallucinates, do? It hallucinates like fucking a fucking person for about a long oh. time. So if I manage to put it in like someone's food, oh, like yeah, the I king, mean, you might as well have it. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. I was thinking of you wanting to take it. That makes a little more sense. No, I just said. Oh my god, I just said I'm not gonna take it. It's. I mean, it's better to have it than not have it. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we don't, if we don't ever end up using it, we just take it ourselves, like at the end of the campaign for fun. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, no facts. But like, if we we might end up needing it. True. I can't. I forget how to add, fucking. Man, I forget how to add shit like that. I wish I had an immovable rod oh. in real life. <laughs> so, anything else you want to do at the park? Or are we cutting over to uh, the Enchanter's store? Uh, I'll go throw something at a duck, I guess. All right, roll the hit. Let's have another duck fight. Roll the hit. Uh... A 12. Oh shit, 19. Never mind. Yeah, you hit him. <laughs> Roll your damage. It should be uh, your strength plus one. Your strength modifier plus one. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> 22, technically. 22. It's not 22. Wait. He said strength plus. No, no, I mean, I mean, like, the bonus to strength. Like, plus Oh, five. fuck! Plus four, so then plus one is five. Five. So, you, you, I guess, throw a rock and demolish a duck. It goes like... And bursts. We got dinner, boys! We got dinner! Demolish this thing. Well, we're gonna cut over to the Enchanter. Uh, now that you've killed a duck. <laughs> did, did you take that, <laughs> the juice... Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, uh, wait. Mm -hmm. You get to the Enchanter. You see a place um, called the... Um, called the... Uh, what is it? You, call it, you see a place called... Um, uh, Mages Are Us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, and it's, it's, it's a town there. And it's this little building. You step inside. Uh, and you see a very old turtle wearing a pointy hat with stars and moons on it. He looks extremely old. Like, un- unbelievably old. The oldest person you've ever seen. Uh-huh. Okay. Hello! Welcome to Mages R Us! Can I get you anything? What uh magic items do you have? Or anything in general? Yeah. Any weapons, any magic stuff? We've got healing potions if you're looking for them. We Oh fuck. We have a deal. It's Black Friday. Um on these and he goes behind and he holds up a, a pair of uh, manacles. No, like, like a chain with two clasps on either end. Mm-hmm. These are dimensional shackles. You seem like adventurers, are you not? Yes. Yeah. What do these do? I recognize you from your from the order. Yes, thank you. It's quite these enough. are a pair of magical uh, handcuffs that, when placed on a creature will prevent them from escaping them by any magical means, like teleporting or changing planes of existence. It will not prevent them from going through a portal, though. If there is a portal, they can go through. How much are they? We're running a special deal on these. Only 500 gold. Can we get a little more off? We're part of the order. We're fighting the rot. We kind of took the rot off of Lesser sure. Alertos. We're getting, we're getting rid of the ghosts from the castle in this place. No sh- These are already on an extreme discount, my guys. These are like bargain bin magical items. How about like four fifty? Four fifty. What did I say? Five hundred originally. Uh, yeah. I'd be willing to take four fifty for them. Do we do it? Yeah. Do we? What other? Does he have any like magic weapons or anything as well? Or probably not. We're also about to get magic items from this in some way, shape, yeah. or form. So I just want to. Um. Yeah, I just want to see is, the inventory like an, that they okay, might. Go ahead, yeah. This could be good to get. I have. Okay. I think we should buy it then, unless they have other yeah. stuff. Brayden wants to see if they have. I just want to see what other stuff he has. Got a wide selection of uh, of healing potions, varying in quality. Ah, uh, there's something you might be interested in. He holds up a little packet of um, of white dust, like white powder. It says, this is dust of disappearance. It goes for a hundred gold. And I'll tell you what it does. It's a powder. It's enough for one use. You use an action, throw it in the air. Uh, you and everyone else in 10 feet become invisible for a few minutes. Hmm. Basically, you can cast invisible. You, you you throw the dust and you and everyone in 10 foot becomes invisible. For how much like a money? Minutes. 100 gold. 100 gold, I think. For one use. I think we should still buy the handcuffs, though, because it looks to be... Are they multi-use? Yeah. The handcuffs? handcuffs? Yes. Yeah. So like, we can put them off. on someone and then like take them off and use them again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless they're like destroyed. Unless they are destroyed. Okay. So honestly, I yeah. feel like that's not a bad thing to just buy already. Yeah, I feel like we do that. And we, bar- we bargain him to four fifty. We could also yeah. buy the the invisibility bill. I might powder. just get the dust potentially. Okay. Bringing you up for these one packet of disappearing dust is one use and the shackles. Mm-hmm. Yep. He picks them up and he he scans them on the. <laughs> Thank you for shopping at Magic at en- en- Enchantments R Us. Have a lovely day. And he puts them in a bag. Are they, are they called- Have a lovely okay. day. Thank you, good sir. Would you uh, want some cookies? I'm technically not allowed uh, to take from customers, but 
I don't see anyone watching, so I would quite like a cookie. Would you want a bird seed, a coconut macadamia nut, or a double chunk chocolate? Bird seed, please. I like the crunch. It gives me fiber mm -hmm. and helps my constipation. Okay, here you go. Excellent. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, because we bought three box, three boxes oh, yeah. of each. So I still have like yeah. two and a half, but I still have like two and a lot. I gave him one cookie out of one box. That's funny. <laughs> okay. I have a lot. Of, I forgot you have a lot of cookies. I have nine boxes of cookies. <laughs> you buy so much cookies. Because they were cheap. I want a cookie. Where are I you going now? Uh, oh, I want to go to the temple. All right, you go to the temple. It's a big old temple, you know, like like cathedral style. Yeah. And you see plenty of other order members, clerics, even a couple like armored paladins who are there doing order shit. Uh, in fact, they do recognize you and they let you in immediately. Like you know, you 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 out. I would say you are you outrank a good chunk of them. Okay, if they salute me, I salute them back. Braden, are you joining or? Uh, no, I don't really. Care okay. to go to the order thing? What, what do you do, Brady? Um, I'm. I want to like chat with whoever's like the, the like leader of the temple. The uh the head of the temple is a is a, is a, is a lizard folk. So they're like a, a lizard lady. Okay. I like, Hello. <laughs> ah, you you must be. Why are you showing me your balls, Chris? <laughs> I, don't think he, I don't think he realized no I didn't realize at all sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah Continue. god damn it that's totally gonna be in fucking video welcome come hi wait, wait what were you asking her uh I wasn't asking her anything I just wanted to find her and just like just, uh, I didn't ask anything yet you must be a. I know you are one of the members of the order. You helped to uh, protect uh, Lesser Alertos earlier. You yeah. you took out the uh, Corneth, was it? Yeah. The news of your deeds has spread fast. Well, I'm In surprised. Fact, we could use your expertise on something. What would that be? I'm always Not down for a good uh, a quest. He leads you uh, down into. She like she? like a basement area, okay. And you see, held inside a glowing like protective ball that some like people put up is a this like rotten fleshy thing that's like writhing around, kind of like venom and attacking the sides of the like sphere oh. that it's being oh. kept in. Oh, we've managed to contain a sample of the rot still alive. That's very impressive. Never seen something like this. Wondering if you would have any, if you have any insights on, 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 on it, or how it's been moving between islands. We've been able to determine that it is definitely jumping across islands, but we don't know how. What I know how? I don't. You don't know how. This is like a novel thing that it's it's spreading faster. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure. We're quite scared of it here, but uh, we're trying to. Not as far as Les Alertos are not safe. Yeah, no, we're really not. But we're trying to take care of that. Hopefully, we at some point we can destroy the source. May Alutharis guide you. Yes. Uh, would you happen to have anything that could help uh, help me and my crew fight it, perchance? Fortunately, we need to keep as many arms here so we can defend our t defend this city. It's a very wise decision. Um, uh, how about uh, wh wh what's your opinion on the king? I asked oh, for for her opinion on the king. Yeah. No one sees him very often. He doesn't really do any ruling. Uh, yeah, I see he likes ale quite a lot. Sort of parties and lets other people take care of the kingdom. Yeah, I think Although we he got wasn't about 30, that way. 30 barrels of ale. About. 
he hasn't really done anything since ten years ago. Before that, he was an actual king. He still likes to party, but he would attend meetings, help the kingdom. But recently, he's been just doing nothing. How come? Would you have been acting clue? odd as well? Hmm? What? Well, did anything happen ten years ago, or is this just this is just how he is now? Sure. Why? Do you think something is affecting him? Uh, there's some strange things with that castle. There's uh, there's ghosts in there. Three of them, actually, but we have killed one. Ghosts? You... Spirits usually only manifest if they have died with unfinished business or in a particularly violent way. Yeah, they they did. <laughs> They were You've already stopped us. the the one that we we did kill uh, because they attacked us first and we we needed to defend ourselves uh, was we found a little piece of uh, music of some sort that was about himself but uh, he was a noble in in the human form and got too drunk and said some offensive things and then was killed by the uh, king's one of the people below the king named Sylvia. She killed him. And now they've come for revenge. Let me check the archives. Yeah. She leads you over to uh, a wall with like, you know, archives of books of things. Part of our work, as you know, is keeping track of records. Let's of see. She goes back. Sylvia, Sylvia. Look at this. And, uh, she holds it out over to you and says, She became the king's advisor ten years ago. Mm. Oh. Hang Which, on. Yeah, continue. Says here, she studied magic. She, she but does. There's no magic. record of her actually attending any magic schools here. It says she trained at this temple, but there's no record of her working here. Hmm. Are you good at keeping secrets? Certainly. If it's important to the Order, it's important to me. Basically, um, the ghost said that they want revenge on her. And she also promised us magic items that she like locked away in a magic place underneath the, um, the castle. But she seems to have a lot of the control there, and... We're actually taking her to the ghosts tonight to talk between her and the ghosts and see if we can figure out what really happened. And um, Sylvia might not last much longer. Fortunate. Do try your best to figure out what did, what is going on exactly. We will. But I trust in your, uh, in your desertion. Sounds good. Thank you for the advice and the information. Uh, may luck be with you. Okay. Do you, do you head off? Yes. Yeah, we leave. I leave. Do you convene? Yeah, I, I can together. I give them the information mm -hmm. that I just learned. All right. Chris, you look like you're dying. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. <laughs> okay. So, is there anything else you'd like to do, or are we advancing, or are we just going to let it become night? Because it's certainly the sun's getting a little yeah, low. Yeah, I think we just let it become night. Yeah, let it right. become night. Night arrives. What do you do now that you're ready to meet with Sylvia? I tell them about all of this. Okay. I tell them about the, the blue powder I got. Purple. <laughs> I swear in my mind that I said purple, but I said blue. It came it's in. Blue. So, what do you guys think about this newfound information about Sylvia? She's sketchy. Pretty, huh? We might have to take take her out tonight. And yeah. not to dinner. <laughs> Even though you <laughs> might want <Dude>. that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we, we meet up with Sylvia now to go... Yeah. Do the, the the work. 
step into uh, the manor. It's dark. Uh, and Sylvia is standing in the entrance hall, flanked by two guards. Ah, you're late. I trust there won't be any more delays, and we can take care of this problem here and now. Mm -hmm. yes. Have you located where the other ghosts... Or have you decided which ghost you will tackle first? Yeah, we'll go to the ballroom. You lead her to the ballroom uh, with uh, the two guards. The guards are with? Fuck. There's two guards along with her. Can we ask why the guards are here? We're dealing with dangerous creatures. I must ensure my safety. I mean, yes, but we're also fully capable of ensuring your own safety. The guards feel Roll a little persuasion. unnecessary. Roll persuasion. Persuasion, man. 26. <laughs> Jesus right, well, Christ, man. She's not doing this. Guards, move to the up, move to the upper areas and patrol for any other spirits. These three will protect me. <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> Jesus, like, man. We will. We ain't protected we nobody. We ain't protected shit. <laughs> you enter the ballroom. She, she ain't getting protected. Walk to the middle of the ballroom. All right. What do you do now that you're here? Wait, what's this? What's the guy's name? It was a Bartholomew. 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 Yeah. I yell, "Oh dear, Bartholomew!" <laughs> uh, the fire thing happens again, and he comes <laughs> out of the fireplace. You see Sylvia round around and uh, draws her sword. There it is. Be away with you, fiend! Use the use the the handcuffs. On her. Yeah. Fuck it, yeah. I'm gonna throw the hand. Can I? Can I throw the handcuffs on her? Like, like the, I guess this would this be like a sneak, almost like a sneak thing, where I would like like I jump her a, and I throw handcuffs on her. I think it's strength. Okay. But you do have advantage because you've surprised her. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess it doesn't work like that. I guess that. advantage yeah. doesn't matter. I rolled a crit one twice. But it both but both had a plus idiot. two, so it was three and three. It was three, but... Golly. Um, you reach out, grab onto her wrists, and almost immediately, like a warrior's instinct, she doesn't, like, grab you, but um, she inverts it, grabs your wrist, and practically throws you across the room. Uh, with the shackles still in your hand. And she goes, Ah, a betrayer. About what I expected from vile non-nobility peasants like you. He's more noble than she is, I feel like. Fine. I will cleanse all of this foulty myself. Wait. Are you yes. bringing Bartholomew into attack as well? Yes. Uh... Can we, yeah, can we, like, talk to, though? Because I, I want some things to say to her. Okay, sure. What do you say? She has her uh, sword drawn. Bartholomew is like... I ask, who, who are you really? <laughs> what a bizarre question. I am the real ruler of this place. I am the power behind the throne. Not ten years ago you weren't. I took this position legitimately. You're a liar. And now, I am can about to lose this position. Everything. I control everything in this kingdom. A single word, and your very life will be outlawed in this land. Everything I say, the king will. And you're about to be outlawed from this dimension. Okay. You have nothing else to say. Allow us to fight. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to no, that's say? It. Right. And then she. We'll do this fight. Or are we doing it now or next time? We'll do it next time. 
Oh, are we stopping entirely here, or do you want to keep going? And no, we can fight? keep going, but in, in another video, maybe. Alright. It's the end of the video! Oh! <laughs> See you next time. We'll fight we'll, next we'll, time. We'll fight the, the, the woman. <laughs> next episode, we beat up a woman. I'm sure. <laughs>